welcome back to our channel. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button below and maybe even hit that bell so that you can be notified on our next game, which I have for you today. So let's get started. So for this game, it's kind of based on the phenomenon of Wordle, uh, which I play almost every day. Um, and so today, as I was playing it, I'm like, oh, I think we could make it into a math game. And I'm sure that there are some variations uh, out there already, but this is a really simple way um, that I know my students will absolutely love. So what you're gonna need are three sets of dice. Um, I've got green and yellow, just because it is based on Wordle and that is what they use, but you could choose two different colors, that's okay. Um, and so basically what's gonna happen is the first player is gonna roll three sets of dice and they will arrange it in such a way. And then they will say to their partner, I have two even and one odd. They then will arrange their dice in a certain way. And then I'm gonna give them clues. Green means I have the right number in the right spot. Yellow means I have the right number, but in the wrong spot. And if I give you nothing, it means you don't have the number. So I'm gonna flip my camera around. I'm gonna play around with my son and uh, then I'll come back and talk to you about some modifications. Okay, so I've chosen a book as a barrier because I, obviously I don't want my son to know what I have rolled. So this is my spot, spot here. I'm going to roll these three sets of dice and then I'm gonna arrange them in an order that I want. Um, I'm gonna go like this. So I'm gonna read it from left to right. Uh, okay, Nate, I have two evens and one odd. So now he's gonna think about uh, the three dice that he has and he's gonna place it in the very first spot. And now I'm going to give him uh, the color coordination and it looks to me, Nate, that you have one right number in the right spot, but the other two are wrong. So now he'll move his dice down and then think about a different way to do the other two. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Son, you have it right. <laughs> That was super easy. <laughs> Good job. Okay. okay, so I'm going to now make it a little bit more challenging by adding another dice. So I'm going to roll same way, and then I'll rearrange my number. Hopefully you can see. Oh, you can't see that. So I'm going to arrange my number so that you can see it. Um, and remember, we're going to read it from left to right. Um, okay, Nathaniel, I have three evens, one odd. So as he's putting down, he's really thinking about that vocabulary of even and odd, which is one of the reasons why um, I think my kids will like this game is because I'm working on that vocabulary. So Nate, okay, I'm going to give you some clues here. You do have the first number, but not in the right spot. Um, you do have the second number, but not in the right spot. You have the third number, but not in the right spot. And you have, and then the other one is, good, is not right.
There you have it, another game that you can play with your students or your children at home. We don't quite have a name for it yet, um, but since it's based on Wordle, why don't we say it's called Mathel? <laughs> we'll workshop that name. Anyway, one way that you could modify that game is by choosing to use more dice, um, dice from one to nine. And if you don't have dice, you can always use cards. And again, if you're gonna use cards, you might just want to have your students write down their guesses in a uh, whiteboard. And that's it. That's how you could play this game. I'm sure that there's a different way that you could modify it, but, uh, and if you do, let us know in the comments below. Again, thanks for joining us and see you next time.